Welcome to Cameron's Saddlecross Skills Episode 2 How to Ride in Sand In the UK you may only need to ride in sand once or twice a year, but the skills you can gain from learning sand riding are very useful in other aspects of saddlecross. In Europe, sand riding can be seen in the majority of courses in some form or another, whether that is the vast amounts of Coxida and Zonhoven or the relatively small amount at a race like Boom. Before I go through some technique pointers for riding in sand, here are some key bike setup changes that make sand riding easier. Lowering your tyre pressure will give you more grip and more tyre surface area, meaning you will sit on top of the sand better. A low profile tread will pick up less material and be faster through the sand. A completely degreased and clean chain will pick up less sand and make your bike not as noisy and more efficient on a sandy course. I don't bother with baby powder or anything, just make sure your chain doesn't have any grease or dirt on it. There are different types of sand sections you can come across on a race course. Short, straight sand pits, long, straight sand pits, or sand pits with corners. So, the technique. From pre-riding the course, you should be able to evaluate how likely you are to be able to ride the section in the race. If it is low, anticipate the dismount and do so before you lose momentum, as this is the most important thing in saddlecross. Another thing to consider in pre-ride is that riding the sand may be easier when you come to the race, as the more people who ride the rut, the more defined the line is, making it easier to ride. If there are a lot of people running the section in the race, the rut will become harder to ride. If approaching the sand section with another rider, either take the lead position to ensure a clear line through the pit, or back off the rider in front 3-4 bike lengths to give enough space to react to their movements, and to allow for the change of speed when they hit the sand and slow down. If the sand section has no defined rut or line, you're going to need as much speed as possible to get through it. If there is a clear rut, then speed is not as important, staying on the bike and being smooth is. When there is not a defined line in the sand, approach with good speed. Before you hit the sand, shift your weight to the rear of the saddle. Weighting the rear wheel is important for preparing yourself for losing momentum and stopping you going over the bars. Like this. Have your hands on the tops or hoods. The hoods are better as you'll be able to change gear and brake, but being on the tops can allow you to drive from the glutes for more grunty sand sections. Make sure that your cadence is not too high. A high cadence will make you bob up and down and side to side, digging you deeper into the sand. You want to be in a gear that you can stay on top of, but you have something to push against. What makes someone good at riding in the rut, like Matthew van der Poel or Wout van Aert, is practice. They have literally done it thousands of times since they were tiny. That's why they are so good. You might not have spent the last 10 years practicing, but you can start now. Practice. Feel how the bike behaves in the rut, how it responds to your inputs, what happens if you overturn, if you look ahead, etc. Other key points. Look ahead. Keep your head up and look through the section where you want to go. This will help lead the bike in the right direction and help you spot obstacles earlier. Keep control of the bike and its overall direction, but let it move underneath you. Riding sand is about being fluid and relaxed. Watch the top riders and you will see how they are not fighting the bike. This is because they know what the bike is doing and can prevent its movements. You will need to practice to get a feel for this. So to recap, pre-ride is important for deciding whether to run or ride. Back off the wheel in front as you approach the sand as they will slow down when they hit it. If there is no defined rut, you will need as much speed as possible to clear the section. If there is a rut, you will need to be more precise and smooth. Shift your weight to the back of the saddle and be light on it to allow for movement. Have your hands on the hoods for control of the brakes and gears. Choose a gear that will give you enough to push against in the sand. Keep your head up and look through the sand section. Try to be relaxed and let the bike move under you. Practice, fall off, practice more. I'm still learning. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Cameron's Saddlecross Skills. Leave your suggestions below for what I can cover next. Thanks, 